This is Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com and AndroidAuthority.com, and today I want to give you a preview look at the swipe text input method for the Android platform. We've seen swipe on the Samsung Omnia 2 for Verizon, and uh, this is a beta release that the company has put out to show us um, how it works on Android. So I'm just going to go through and do some simple functions here. You enter in text just by dragging your finger across the letters that you need. There's, it automatically will put a space after it when I start the next word, so there's no need to put the space there. This comes up and shows you possible things that it interprets what you just did. Now I just tapped on the A, and it's assuming it's probably an A. You can see that it's uh, you know, faded right there. That's the default value, but I could manually select something else. Since it is an A, I'm just going to go to the next word, test message. You can see that the A is there and test is there as well. Now if you notice what I just did on the S, I twirled my finger a little bit. And that's how you show that you're doing double letters. Put a period in there. Now if you want to do capitals, it's a little bit um, trickier. You start just like you would on the initial letter, but then you have to go up off of the keypad and then back down to the next letter. So this is in caps. Oops, I forgot the S. Let's go back and do that again. Caps. You can also use the system in landscape mode, of course. It's not as easy to use because actually the fact that the screen's the keyboard's bigger makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, let's put a space in there. More. Example. Text. Here. does a pretty good job and you don't even have to hit the keys right. Um, it'll also recognize the patterns if you're kind of close to what you want to do. Um, let's see, uh, let's do messaging. M-E-S-S-A-G-I-N-G. -S -S you know, it wasn't very exact, but it still got exactly what I wanted. Longer. I don't even think I touched the R there. another. You can see you can really blow through it quite quickly. I've been using this um, for a few days now and I'm really loving it. I definitely prefer it to the standard um, keyboard. You can always get to the standard keyboard um, by changing the input method back. Go to the Android keyboard. You can see it right there but it's not nearly as easy to use as swipe is. Now on the droid here, what you're seeing is it's been really, really stable. It's not been as stable in the half VGA version for the Motorola Click that I've been using, but this version has been spot on. I really love it. Oops, I got the love wrong. Now I want to show you a feature that we don't see here. Now, I'm double tapping on it, so I'm getting nothing. I can replace the word, which is just fine. But if I pull up another separate application that Swipe has supplied, let's see, where is it? Swipe Notepad. You'll see how much better it works with an application that's Swipe Aware. This is more text, okay? Now if I double tap on more, it guessed correctly what I wanted, but if I double tap on more in this application, it automatically brings up the guesses as to what else it could possibly be. Suppose I really wanted mute, 
and text, I really wanted rest. When you have um, Swipe built into this system like this, there's a lot more that it can do in terms of the editing. It's a lot easier to work with. And of course, you know, landscape mode and everything still works like you would expect. Here is more. It's really a good system, and I'm really looking forward to see it, seeing it put into some devices, um, you know, built in. So, in any case, that's Swipe for the Android platform. I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com and AndroidAuthority.com.